This is 3.1 Tissue Notes. The essential question is, what are the characteristics unique to epithelium and how are they named? Tissue is a group of cells with similar structure and function. Histology is a branch of science that studies tissue. Pathology is study of diseases. There are four types of tissue. The first one is the epithelial tissue, also called epithelium. These type of tissues are found covering and lining organs, and they are the major type of tissue found in glands. The second type of tissue is called connective tissue. They vary very much in appearance and the type of job that they do. The jobs they do can run from protecting and supporting organs. They can also bind organs together. They also can function for storing energy and providing immunity. Third type of tissue is the muscle tissue, and their job is for movement. The last tissue is called the nervous tissue, and their job is to transmit impulses that coordinate body activities. The first tissue we're going to talk about is the epithelial tissue, also called the epithelium. These type of tissues are found covering and lining internal organs, and they form majority of the tissue found in glands. Because they vary in appearance and location, they can also have differences in function. The first function is protection. Protection meaning that protection against physical abrasion or scratches like the skin. It could also be have a function of absorption, which is sucking something in. Think of food being absorbed from the digestive tract into the bloodstream. Also filtration, a lot of times you think of filtration as cleaning, but filtration means that you are separating liquid from the uh, solid or bad from the good, like uh, kidneys. Kidneys would have that kind of function. Secretion would be another function, and this means something is being squirted out. Think of endocrine glands producing hormones and releasing them into the blood. The last one is lubrication. Think of lubrication as uh, organs producing some type of watery substance, and then that subs the watery fluid is providing moisture. There are certain characteristics of epithelium that makes it separate from the other three types of tissue. The differences are that epithelial tissues are composed mostly of cells. They are fitted closely together and they have very little amount of extracellular matrix. Extracellular matrix is the non-cellular portion of tissue. And also another thing about epithelial tissue is that they are arranged in continuous sheets, and it could be a single or multiple layers of these sheets. Think of like jigsaw puzzles, how the pieces fit closely together, and then they create a flat surface. Note the type of epithelial tissue picture below and notice that they are made up of cells and notice how they are packed closely together which means that it leaves no room for any extracellular matrix and because we are talking about a cell that our cells have nucleus okay these are the dark structures at times, when you are looking at epithelial tissue, you might not be able to see the outlines of each individual cells, but you will definitely be able to see the nucleus. Another part of the cell is the apical surface. Apical surface is the top layer or the layer of the epithelium that is not attached to another tissue. Basement membrane is the bottom layer, pictured in blue here. And the basement membrane is the portion that is actually attached to another tissue. And usually that tissue is connective tissue. Two other characteristics of epithelium is they regenerate easily. Think of your skin. Skin is type of an epithelium. And notice that you are constantly shedding skin cells, but you are obviously making more cell, uh, cells all the time to replace the ones you are losing. And another thing is about 
uh, tissue is that they are avascular, which means they have no blood supplies. This is the reason why when you get a scratch, as long as it is at the surface of the skin, you don't bleed because there is no blood supply. There are eight different types of epithelia. Epithelia is plural of epithelium. The eight epithelia have a first name and they have a last name. The first name determines or indicates their number of layers. So when you see the word simple, it means that they only have one layer. Okay. Notice that the picture here only shows you one layer of cells. If the first name is stratified, that means there are more than one layers. Okay, so here you see one layer of cells. Then you see another layer. Then you see a third layer. Then you see a fourth layer. And then you see a fifth layer. Okay, so as long as there's more than one layer, then it is considered stratified. The last name indicates the shape of the cell. The first one is called squamous or which means flattened. So you're going to see a, that you're going to see a cell that is flat in shape. And recall that I told you sometimes you're not going to be able to see the shape of the cell. So you're going to be looking for the shape of the nucleus. If you see a flat disc shaped nucleus, then you are looking at a squamous cell. Second type of shape you might see is a cuboidal. Cuboidal means cube shaped or square shaped. And again, if you can't see the shape of the cell, then you are looking for a nucleus that is round. If you see a round nucleus, then you're thinking of cuboidal. The last shape is columnar. Columnar, the cells are tall, okay, like a column, and the nucleus is oval shaped. Don't get that mixed up with disc shape. Oval shaped means that they are tall, they're standing tall. Your 3.1 notes homework is number one, how is tissue different from a cell? Number two, how are epithelial tissue named? Three, describe the characteristic of simple squamous epithelium.